Hi, I'm Neil Woolridge from Neil Woolridge Motorsport, team manager of Ford Racing Team, and we are uh, at the 2014 Dakar Rally. It's the first time Ford and Ranger is here, and uh, it's very exciting times for us. I'm going to take you through the car now, show you and tell you a little bit about our baby, which we designed and built in Peter Maritzburg, funded by Ford Global Product Development in Detroit. Come and have a look and see what it's all about. The heart of any racing car is, is the engine, of course, and we've chosen the Ford Mustang 5-litre V8 engine. Ford are renowned for their, for their performance in 5-litre V8 engines, and that's the one we've chosen. The rules stipulate that we have to use a stock standard engine, and we looked at all the engines available to us, and we quickly found that the 5-litre the Mustang engine is the best choice for us. It develops excellent torque, excellent performance, and fuel consumption is also very, very good for a V8. So that's our choice of engine. In cross-country racing, equally as important as the engine is the drivetrain. It's so, so, so important to have a strong gearbox, strong drifts, strong drive shafts. And that we've done with the Ranger. We've gone for a SADF six-speed sequential gearbox, just like a motorbike, where you have first, second, all in a row, and you go backwards and forwards, straight through the gear. No uh, synchro mesh on the gearbox, so you can change gear without the clutch, without even de-accelerating. You keep your foot flat, you change gear, and it, it changes immediately. We have a gear cut system in it, so you save a lot of time and also saves the gearbox and uh, much less work to do on it. Now we have the suspension on the Ranger. It's a, a strict set of rules that we have to operate to. We have, the car can't be any wider than two meters wide. We're limited to 250 millimeters of travel on the independent suspension, which we run front and rear on the Ford Ranger. We run boss dampers on all four corners, twin shock absorbers, which are tuned to absolute perfection. The performance of this car over the rough stuff is unbelievable. Uh, you have to really sit in the car to believe it. Along with the brakes in South Africa, we have to conform to the MSA regulations and have to run standard production type brakes, whereas on the Dakar and any FIA type races, the brakes are free. Our choice of brakes is the Brembo brake. It's a six-pot caliper which we use on the front and rear, but the rear is slightly more special in that it's water-cooled. Why is it water-cooled? Because the rear suspension being independent, it's difficult to get air to the rear brakes. So we run a, a separate water system with its own pump and water cool the calip calipers. One of the few teams to do that. Looking at the back of this fantastic Ranger, you'll see that our radiator sits at the back of the car. Why have we done that? Because we need to get as much weight towards the rear of the car as possible and to also put in this big radiator. We run in ambient temperatures of well into the 40s and it's important for us to have a big radiator with lots of cooling, hence why we've got it at the back with all the ducting on. You'll see the ducting on the roof and on the sides to get as much air into the back. You'll see we run three fans on the car, one big one which will run almost all the time and then the two smaller ones that will click in once it gets to a certain temperature. We did lots of testing in Namibia and Uppington and we've managed to keep our water temperatures well down. We knew coming to Dakar temperatures were going to be a big issue for us so we've really resolved that. 